Hey dudes and dudettes, Quinn Van Dane go back again. Let's get into it. Today I was thinking I might pull out my white deck. I have a few that are variations. I have my red white, I have my red black. Uh, we're going to go with my straight up white deck right now. Let's see what happens. And here we go. Gus, yes, Gus, Guse. I don't know what his name is. We'll call him Mr. G. Uh, it's not the world's best opening hand, but let's see what we can do with it. We do have an instant play as a defender, which is nice. So let's get him out. I'm never sure whether I like Novice Knight or not. I mean, he's definitely great value for a 2-3, but he can't really do shit unless you get other cards. So, I don't know. We'll see. Then I'm a little heavy on the enchantments and things. Those are high value cards. I wish I had a couple more in like two to three range that were creatures. Well, there's a two creature. I'll take it. Ask and you shall receive. Plus he has vigilance, which makes Sun Sentinel a nice choice. I do not know how bad it's going to get with them being able to draw extra cards. That can be a really strong piece of a game. So many more options. There you go. See, they've already got a 4-5 out. That's the strength of it right there. Hopefully, with this being kind of more of a mana, or excuse me, health building deck, I'll be able to guard against that. Plus, right now, we're just going to put a Luminous Bonds on it so that we don't have to worry about it. And, yeah. That's mostly for fighting and getting extra counters, so I'm not too worried about it now. It doesn't do other shit that we can't stop just by preventing attacks or blocks, which is what we wanted. A Gnarlback Rhino. Trample, nice. It's a good card. Not really very familiar with that one. I don't know how I feel about that yet. We're going to hold on to Luminous Bonds. What should we do? What should we do, folks? Uh, let's get Herald of Faith out. He doesn't have any flying. It'd be nice to have something up in the air so we can go after him next time. I'm not going to attack because I really don't feel like just sacrificing my son Sentinel straight into his rhino. Rabid Bite. Man, that seems to be everywhere anymore. Good card. I need to start using it on my own. Oh, well. Basically just eliminated any value for my last turn. We're not going to block that. We're just going to take the hit. Oh no! Owie! Now it's a big hit. Well, shit. Alright, that's alright. Let's do more and see if it helps. Let's go. History of Benalia out there. And Militia Bugler. Let's see. We can put another one out. I would like some life link in there, I think, just because we could really afford to have some extra life build up. I'm going to take my shot with what I got. So he can't block me with anything right now. Something's better than nothing. Do two damage down to 1613 rather than, well, okay, it's not a lot better. Shit, and we've got another season of growth. Hmm. Let's go with the flow. Let's see what happens. If I get massacred, so be it. She died fighting. And crying. Fighting and crying. All right, we've got a Luminous Bonds. I kind of want to get that one out of the way. It's just going to be too much trouble. Bishop Soldier can come out. Urgh, I don't really want to attack because that Death Touch, it's not good. I'm going to save it. We've got Bellinia doing its thing. Benalia, whatever. I don't want to hear about it, folks. You know what I'm talking about. And once they get those plus two, plus ones on them, we can all attack at once, and something will get eaten up by the Enforcer, but, ah, oh, shit, now he's doing more things with Rabid Bite. 
<sighs> That's okay. Archive troll. Fancy. Well, Geus, are you done? Dead air. This is what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, come on. I just want, yep, give me those extras. We'll throw something out. I can't use them right away, but I really want them out there. But... If I attack right now, that could build up quite a bit because I'm basically running a few of them into their deaths. So, YOLO. What's he thinking? It's okay. I know it looks like a bad choice. Don't get on me about it. Yes, he's going to die, but we're going to get two life from it. And that troll being busy will let other cards through. See, there. Now we've reversed it. Now we're at a 12-15, which is pretty legit. And all those dead creatures that I just lost and like threw into the abyss with my cold, cold heart will help rising populace. Just wait till it gets there. Wait for it. There, see? So that's something, because I know it looks like they got a lot of big cards, but really two of them are landlocked. They can't do shit. All right, we got something coming out. Ugin, the ineffable. He has a high opinion of himself. All right. If I get Leonin out next time, that'll be good. Hopefully we can start uh, propagating some little... Leonin children, I guess. Ooh, lots of Leonins. Leonettes? I don't know. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a 3-3, three, three, a 1-1, one, one, and a 2-2. Two, two. Our 4-4 four, four will be safe unless they block with more than one creature. But we also really hate Ugin. So let's take something out. And then next turn, when we attack with Leonin, we can get a couple 1-1 one, one lifelinks. Oh, well, that was kind of like just walking back around to the same point because I killed one of his 2-2s, two but I think if he wants, he can make a 2-2. Two -two. So, uh, might not have been the most productive move in the world, but no harm, no foul, right? Owie. That's mean, taking out my Leonin. He doesn't know I have another one. Sucker. And Rising Populous gets another point. I'll take it. I like the Rising Populous card. It makes me think it's like the one time people in America saw something wrong and did something about it. You know, instead of just bitching on Facebook. I bitch on the internet. That's different. Shut your mouth. All right, I'm waiting for him to decide what he wants to do. He's definitely got a huge card advantage in his hand over mine, which makes me super uncomfortable. A lot of options for him on ways to screw me over. So there's that. All right, nothing earth shattering. I am, however, going to attack his Ugin the Ineffable again. And hopefully I'll either kill the troll or I'll get through to him. I really wish Rising Populace had Trample right now, but wish in one hand shit in the other, see which fills up first. Ow, that was nice. I'll, I'll give that to him, that was a nice block. 
And now my big boy's out of there. Owie. Yeah, I felt that deep down. I need some wine. I'm taking a sip of wine. That was for rising populace. Waiting for season of growth to finish up its thing. Someday. Well, fuck. <laughs> I love it. Owie, good game, motherfucker. I did not see that coming. That was a really awesome growth cycle application. No one said I was really good at this, folks. It is what it is, but that was a cool move on their part, and I don't mind being taken out like that. Good game. Let's try it again. Maybe if I get a better hand, I can do something more with my white deck. Honestly, normally it plays pretty well. It's got a Johnny's Pride Maid in there, a Johnny's Welcome. It's got all kinds of stuff, and normally I can get a pretty good symbiosis and kind of synergy going. Didn't quite happen that game. Man, there's nothing like blue decks, maybe even blue greens and white decks for that kind of synergy. It just looks awesome. The cards start playing off one another and yeah, it's neat. It's a neat thing if you can find the right combinations. And I'm playing ACC fan. I don't know what that means. That's okay. Like, did he forget the D in there? ACDC fan? Or maybe he just really likes fans and air conditioning and put an extra C in there. Who knows? It could be anything. All right, let's get a Johnny's Welcome Out straight away. It looks like we're kind of playing a mirror deck of ourselves. We're through the looking glass here, people. Soul Mender. I thought it said Salamander at first, which would be very different. See, Soul Menders, you gain one life, but Salamanders, you just drop your tail and run away. That happened to my mom once. With the salamander her tail didn't fall off she did happen to her with the salamander she almost peed herself it was it was high quality entertainment she didn't know they did that all right they've got history of banalia out there already so we got to start up in our game good news is we've got a lot of mana in our hand bad news is we're having kind of a gap in actual creatures or instants that we can play to progress our I don't know, our goal of winning at all. So yeah, we're in a little bit of a rut right now, but. Oh, it's not looking real promising. They're doing what I'm trying to do. They're getting some life building up. They have some wonderful hexproof creatures. They got a flying creature. It's everything I want to be. Well, classic mana flood, here we go. Um, let's go with Leonin. And then, even if we have to keep propagating the one ones and sacrificing them, we can build up some life. I'm a pretty ruthless leader when it comes to being a planeswalker, actually. I, you know, some people really protect their characters, and I'm like, fuck you, I need a life. I need a plus one. Everyone appreciates your sacrifice. I guess I have kind of like a weird, I don't know, socialist kind of? Totalitarian? Sure, we'll go with totalitarian magic effect approach. I don't know. 
All right, so this turn's going to be hard because they use the rest of that Benalia automatically. And I think I'm just going to have to take the hit. I can not block those without killing whatever creature I'm blocking with, and I really can't afford to be sacrificing creatures right now. Uh, unfortunately, now they have more life, and it kind of digs us deeper. But what else are we going to do, folks? All right, we got an Ajani's Pride Mate. That actually wouldn't be horrible, because we bring it in, it'll automatically get a single life off of there. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, but because of their Vigilance cards, I really don't know how to feel about attacking. Plus, the Shalai Voice of Plenty could come down and get me, and it just sounds like it could be a really serious shit show. There's Salamander again. Vanquisher's Banner. Uh-oh. Well. Birds, angels, clerics, knights. Are you going to use it on the knights? Is that what you're thinking? see that okay I guess they're not doing it or something oh they chose cat what the fuck man you don't even have any cats on the field and you're not holding any cards why would you do that cat all right man they must know something I don't know All right, so now is when we can try. Those two can attack, because there's nothing available that would kill them outright. They'd at least have to combine two two twos, which I'd kind of be okay sacrificing one of those to clear those out of there and not have to worry about them anymore. Plus, we're building up with some automatic additions. We got those lifelink one ones, which builds up a Johnny's pride mate, which helps a little bit more. He's probably going to block with both. There it is, folks. It's not a bad move. It's probably what I would have done in his position. So, fair enough. We got a hit in. 20 to 17. That's not horrible. I'm less ashamed of myself than when I started this game. It'd be nice if we could get rid of that voice of plenty. Plus, that would get rid of the hex proof on the other items. Mm, that's okay. Okay, well, it wasn't another mana, so that's something. Militia Bugler comes out. I get to pick a card. Let's do this. That's just sad. Nothing to select. Okay, well, here, one thing I do like about Starcrown Stag is what I'm about to show you. Let's attack with all. Yeah, I know. I really don't care if my cat gets killed, but we're going to tap his Shalai Voice of Plenty, so that's not a problem anymore. Then we got three coming in hot. Only one of them can effectively be killed, even if both of his available creatures block at once. Boom! I'm not saying it's earth shattering. It's what I came up with. I'll stand by it. It'd be nice if a Johnny had trample. It would be nice if every card that was mine anyway had trample, but. All right, we're like actually winning at this point. Okay, now we're tied again. But there was the second there. All right, now I'm seeing maybe why he picked cat for his whatever's banner thing, Vanquisher's banner. 
Still hasn't done him a whole load of good so far. Just waiting to have my chance in there. That'll come on through. It has to. Owie. So be it. All right. Another Johnny. It's, it's something. I don't have a creature to bring out in everything right now, but it, it's those are never bad to have around. Uh, let's see. All right. So we're in a relatively good spot again with the blocks. It would take two of them to kill one of my creatures. So we'll just kind of chillax on that. And outside of that, I actually... Oh, hexproof. Duh. I knew that. Nice. I like having him out of the way. I'm not 100% sure why he didn't use Soul Mender instead. I guess he wants to keep tapping it for that one life. I'm not sure that would have been my choice, but but it wasn't my choice, so that kind of works out. And he does have a lot of cats. Kiss at me, kitty. Yeah, I'm clicking on you. Pisses you off. What's he doing? Nothing. All right. Throw a rising populace out there. Get a couple life to boost. A Johnny will boost while that happens. That's a nice synergy to have happening. Then we'll go ahead and tack with a few. I'll make sure it includes a Johnny and Star Crown stag so that we can go ahead and tap Shalai. We'll take these three. I don't foresee a way that they can really die unless those ones team up the Charm Stray and the Salamander, as I like to say. If those team up to take out Militia Bugler, that could be done, but I'd be happy to have both of them gone for that price. Plus, remember, if my card were to die, then Rising Populous would get a plus one, plus one, which would be nice. So you got to try to think of all the potential outcomes of your choice and see if you're happy with all of them. If you're happy with all of them, then that's a no-lose move, which is what you want. So like I said, one did go down. Rising Populous got a plus one, plus one. Ooh, a Johnny Strength of the Pride. That's actually a really good... Planeswalker. So we're going to have to try to take that down ASAP. And that's why, because it creates little shits like that. Ah, but Leonin's back. Sweet. trample on that. I do want to attack that. If that blocks, it's going to... All right, so I'm thinking here. I'm, I'm going to try to put this into words better. If I attack a Johnny, the Planeswalker, with my Rising Populace, it could be taken down by Shalai, which would suck. If I attack with both, something has to hit it. That's all I really want right now. Because I really don't need him making another 2-2 Cat Soldier that can gain counters. Okay, well, at least we'll be able to do some serious damage to him. He's down to 7. So, yeah, I know, not ideal. Now I lost some cards. It is what it is. But he's at 7. So there's that. I'm not digging that. His Planeswalker is hexproof now, though. I don't really have any instants that I can throw at it like I would if I were to use in my red deck or red-black. Nothing like Lightning Strike, but... Still. 
I don't like that he's expert. ACC fan, what you doing? Uh-oh, they're gaining strength. Yeah, not good. Come on, come at me, bro. That was not what I was expecting. All right, put Leon in there again. Ooh. All right, Johnny is doing Primo over here. So I'm definitely attacking with him. Uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. I don't really have a huge reason for why I just did what I did. We are going to make a couple by tapping Leon in though. And I have to choose who I'm going to attack. So I'm going to go straight for the actual person playing. Yeah, I, I thought I already did that, sweetie. Oh, so we got a 15-15 of Johnny, which I'm really kind of amazed he didn't somehow clear out of here earlier, but that's great. But it does not have trample, which, as I'm sure you're gathering, is like my favorite thing. That and Death Touch, those are both awesome. We're getting back in a stronger position. We're up to 20. They're down to six. I've got definitely some more power on the mat than they do, but they're building each time. No, it's getting closer and closer. Here they come, which is awesome. Good on them. Ain't over yet, though. But wait, there's more. What is it? But now what? As we all hold our breath. <sighs> I got another Johnny. That doesn't really help me a whole bunch right now, but that's okay. They're back up to 14, which is cool. This game's going. All right, now I've got myself a bit of a conundrum. If I attack with the Johnny, he's actually got enough going on now that he could block with it, which would not be good. So, I'm going to take these little punks. We're going to try to take out a Johnny. Not sure that's what's going to happen, but hey, you got to try, right? And then these two, I'm going to attack the player. This could be good, this could be bad. I haven't thought this out through 100%, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, we're going to have two more 1-1 one, one cats, which I'm also going to put at the Planeswalker. Oh, okay, they got rid of one of them. That's okay, we'll still have three. And that builds up my Ajani's Pride made some more, which will make it harder for them to multi-block it. I think we might be okay. This might have been a relatively intelligent decision or an accident. All right, so I'm definitely losing my Leonin, which is unfortunate, but ah, and we didn't get rid of his, we did not get rid of his Planeswalker, which is bonk, but oh well. Our Johnny's Pride Mate's doing really well. He's pumped up. And Johnny's the Planeswalker is at least weak enough that he's really not going to be able to put anything on the field. That's not good. Man, 
man, white on white decks can take a long time to play. That sounds funny. Okay. Probably should have thought that one out first. All right. It's got one he's attacking with. Oh, it's nice because he has that uh, banner, so that makes him three threes because he chose cat, which I'm totally getting now. All right. I'm going to get rid of one of them because Novice Knight doesn't really do a lot of damage. And they are going to do some damage if I let them keep multiplying like that. Have your pets spayed and neutered, folks. I apparently can't do math. You know, the maths? The maths that would have let me know that attacking with a 2 into a power 3 wouldn't work. Those maths. Math maths. All right, well, the good news is I have got a very strong Ajani's Pride Mate. It looks good, it's shiny, it's pretty. That's about as far as it goes. It's not gonna do me a whole lot of good unless it had trample. I'm probably gonna start feeling the hurt pretty bad soon, but you know what? This is for fun, so let's just go for it. <laughs> and I can go cry in a corner later. And here we go, we've reversed again. He's at 30, I'm at 20. He's got all the advantages going in his favor. He's got more creatures. He's got more cards in his hand. He's got all these enchantments, and all this extra shit. He's blinged out right now, folks. It's pretty cool. Once upon a time, there was a little girl, and it wasn't her turn to play. So she waited and waited and waited, hoping that her opponent would make a choice. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not even going to block against that. It's been a good game, well fought, and it was fun. So there it goes. What the hell? I'm somehow at one? I told you I sucked at math. <laughs> this is freaking pathetic. <laughs> oh, there I go. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Defeat. Uh, their victory was well earned. So that was fun. We'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>